These Air Force civil engineers are testing the future of chemical and biological protective suits. The tests are part of a recent operational demonstration conducted by the Air Force Civil Engineer Center's Readiness Directorate at the Silver Flag Exercise Site at Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida. And we've been working on chem biodefense. Uh, I've worked on coatings and finishes for um, the uniforms. And these finishes are designed to shed both oils and also water and also prevent chemical agents from penetrating into the garment. So in addition to that, we've also developed some catalysts that go into those coatings uh, that are also biocidal, um, antibacterial. And so when a chemical agent lands on you or a biological agent, um, it won't penetrate through the outer garment and then it will also um, kill the, the uh, biological agent. Adding catalysts to the material coatings enhances the protective properties of the suits and enables the new designs to be lighter weight than previous versions. That would make it easier for Air Force CEs to respond to emergencies and, if called upon, do their jobs in a contaminated environment. People who are testing the suits are just amazed at how much more comfortable, how well they fit, and how much cooler they are. And they're able to do the same mission with a lot less heat. The demonstration, named Ockley's Bane, after Ockley's, the Greek goddess of the death mist, included test scenarios in emergency management, explosive ordnance disposal, fire emergency services, and airfield damage repair. Throughout the material development process, AFCAC has worked closely with the Army's Natick Soldier Research Development and Engineering Center as the primary suit designer, as well as the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, the DOD's lead for the Chemical Biological Defense Program. So what we're trying to do is look at a variety of suits uh, in, that, that cover a spectrum of performance, whether they're more protective, less protective, higher thermal burden, lower thermal burden. And we gather the data from this in order to help inform requirements. Ockley's Bain complemented recent testing done by the Army at the Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland. It was also a chance for the AFCAC team to showcase some Air Force CE-specific missions to their Army and DITRA partners. Watching them uh, putting out a, a JP-8 fuel fire um, and how our garments are incorporated with the, uh, the firefighting clothing that they need to wear on top of that and how the, the boots and those garments integrate with the, with the garments that we've made. It's, it, it's all been a very good learning experience, also seeing what kind of missions the Air Force has to deal with. We wouldn't have known otherwise. We get a, a Air Force specific perspective on how the missions in the Air Force differ and how we need to develop our garment to be applicable to uh, all services missions.